Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can use the System File Checker offline to scan and repair system files on our Windows 10 machine. To begin this process, let's hold down the Windows key and press the letter I. This brings up the Windows Settings. Inside of the Windows Settings, let's go down to Update and Security. And once we're up inside of Updates and Security, let's go to Recovery. Once we're inside of recovery, let's go ahead and go down to where it says advanced startup and click the option where it says restart now. Now Windows is going to restart and come up and give us the advanced recovery mode. Now that we're up inside of the recovery options, let's go ahead and click on troubleshoot and let's go to advanced options. And once we're inside of the advanced options, let's go to the command prompt. Windows will restart, and when it comes back up, it will give us the command prompt. Now, once your machine has restarted, you'll have to select the account that you want to use to log in, and then just click it. And now you have to type in the password for your Microsoft online account. Okay, this is not going to be the same password that you use to log on to your machine. This is the password for your Microsoft online account. Now once you've got that situated you're going to be given the command prompt. So whenever we run the system file checker out of its normal Windows environment we're going to have to tell the system file checker where the system installation files are located. So at the command prompt I've typed in WMIC space logical disk space get device ID comma space volume name comma description. I'll go ahead and just hit enter. And you can see where everything is now located. We can see by the output that the C drive is where the system reserved files are located. So our volume D is where our system installation files will be located. So from the output of our previous command we can see that the system reserved files are located on the C drive which makes the D volume my Windows directory. So to begin this scan I've typed in CFC space forward slash scan now space forward slash off boot dir equals C colon backslash space forward slash off wind dir equals d colon backslash windows and we're ready to begin the scan and so I'm just going to hit enter and it begins the scan and it tells you that this process will take some time so what happens if you need to repair your Windows 10 installation offline but you can't get to the normal Windows environment let's say Windows 10 won't boot up well then you have to put in the medium or the media that you installed your Windows 10 operating system with and you're going to run the startup once you get to the startup you're going to launch repair your computer and that takes you into the same options that we worked with previously and so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about repairing our Windows 10 installation offline using the system file checker. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the material that was presented to you in this short video presentation, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.